Hello everybody, welcome back to Virtual Truck Driver Daily. Today's episode is number 473 and it's called Simply Amazing. That's because the weather, the trip, beautiful as always. Now, I have tried to do this uh, voiceover for about 20 minutes using another headset. I was using the PX24s and let's just say when I listened to it back it blew my head off so obviously it's not fair to use that on everybody else because I'm partly deaf so if I can hear it clear as a bell and too loud it hurts my ears it's going to be deafening for you guys all I wanted to do was a simple mic test because I've managed to plug my PX24s from Turtle Beach into the front of the tower but yeah that's gone wrong so I'm going to have a little look at all the levels and everything tonight and see what happens again at tomorrow for tomorrow's video so the lowdown is we are in Narva. Well, we're trying to leave Narva, but it won't work. I'll explain why in a minute. We're going to be heading to Parnu today. It's 307 kilometres away for an in game drive time of 5 hours 11 minutes, and it's the Fresh Link Worldwide, Worldwide Shipping contract, and it's 25 tonnes of like normal. Obviously, I've currently got a glitchy gate mod going on. Um, the gates are open as I as I came round, I thought, oh, do you know what? They've opened the gates so that I can go. No, the invisible wall's still there. Now, for people who actually use this mod, you'll get what I'm on about. Whilst the gates are opening, there is an invisible wall there. Um, it's something to do with the game, alright? It's not the mod's fault, I'm not going to have a go. I needed to get far enough away so that the gates are shut. Obviously, now they've shut, and I'm going to go and try it again. The reason I backed well, the first reason why I backed up the first time was because I was worried that it was the trailer on the driver's side hitting the open gate. And no, it's not that. So I obviously just back back and jobs are it's opening now and the invisible wall disappears. And we start our trip to Parnu. So yeah, going back to the PX24s. I was using the PX24s to do it because I obviously wanted to see what that was like because my poor old 450s are getting hammered I'm doing the video portion of the editing I'm using them for eye racing and eye racing is in like two minutes worth of work it's a whole load of testing throughout the week plus a 45 minute race and then um, just for the pure fact that I just wanted to just chill out with the wireless headphones like video editing just doing the video portion of the editing and that so we're using the PX's no problem with the quality, it's just the uh, levels need sorting out because I am way too loud. And as I said, I'm partly deaf as well, to add to the many list of things that got wrong with me. If it blew my head off, it's certainly going to blow your guys' head off, so I don't really want to do that. So obviously I'm going to swap back to the 450s, check the levels tonight, and see what happens again for tomorrow. But in yesterday's video, I did talk about something, and uh, well, I did start to talk about it. Basically, it's to do with the pro mods forums and some people's behaviour. Right now, the pro mods guys do this at their free time. They could either be playing the game like we are, out having fun with the mates down the pub or anything, but they're doing it for free. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Every now and then, I'll donate to them because it's not fair. Because I'm using this mod pretty much all the time and I won't update a game patch to it until it's stable and actually while I'm on the subject of pro mods and compatibility and stableness I did talk yesterday where well, I started to talk about some people's um, I'm gonna call some people out here I'm not gonna say their names but they're gonna know it's aimed at them People who are going on the ProMods forums and going, I donate $7, and this is a quote by the way, I donate $7 a month to you, and you won't even answer my question, open brackets, his question was about when is Italy coming, close brackets, and obviously it's soon, you know you know ProMods, it's ready when it's ready, and that was said, he goes, I donate $7 a month to you, and you won't even answer my question, no mate, it's not a chance it's not not wanting to answer your question it's the fact the promo guys don't want to say anything a because it's more it ruins the surprise of what's coming but i i already know what's coming roughly in 2.2 .2. it's the fact that they can't promise anything because 
if they say, oh, I don't know, the release date is tomorrow, and it doesn't come out tomorrow, there's going to be a load of people peed off in there. Do you know what I mean? I, I would be. So people just need to think about their forum actions and just generally have a think. Please respect them. They're doing it free, out of their own money, own time, free time. Do you know what I mean? They're doing this for no recognition at all, apart from the Pro Mods forum and the Pro Mods fans and all that. But something I'm going to say to them blue in the face. I'm going to continue this tomorrow. I just want to say thank you to everybody for watching. And I'll see you again tomorrow where we'll talk some more about promods.